Hey friends of the sun, today we are going to take you on an outstanding dive at a site called Sahara. This dive site has a lot of names. Sahara was the name I learned when I came here something like two decades ago. The name makes sense because it is a pretty sandy area. All where we enter the water, it starts with beautiful seagrass, just on two to three meters. Seagrass has always something amazing, like this beautiful snake eel. You probably can imagine why it is called a snake eel, because it tries to mimic a whale shark. It is not very good in that. Well, I rather be alone when diving and leave the chicks to do their own thing. At this time it was actually a little bit windy underwater, but still good visibility. And after the seagrass, the first little coral patches come and you can see now in the back that it's very sandy, that's why it's called Sahara. But not only this is the reason for it, the dive site also has some artificial underwater structures where you see these little beautiful critters crawling around and just waiting to be discovered. These yellow snappers always are the indicator that you are very close to the actual dive site where these pyramids are standing around. There's always a great chance to see some wonderful critters hanging out there. Always also some bigger stuff like nice pufferfish, grouper, big snappers once in a while, an octopus and just a lot of small stuff. I used to bring my students there because the dive site starts very very shallow and there's already a lot to see and it can go down to 25-28 meters and then it's real muck diving where you see some special stuff. Inside that huge cages are real big snapper and grouper. There's a resident potato grouper which hangs around there since I don't know how many years. These black, silver, yellow fish are sergeant major fish. They actually protect their little eggs which are laid on the rocks next to that old wreck. They are pretty nervous when other people come and the skunk clownfish are not that friendly either. Can't help to have the small peacock tail shrimp which says hello in a slow motion. Hello! Or maybe he just raised his fist to bring us away. Nudibranchs are also a very common sight there in all colors, forms, shapes and species. These two were actually posing for us. As it was a kind of family dive, our main purpose was just go there and see some lovely aquatic life, beautiful creatures and being once with nature, which of course you can see was pretty much a success. Those yellow big eye snappers are everywhere. In between we see one of my favorites and and para-angel fish which use these domes with holes to hide or just come out to us and pose a little bit for a quick video. Swimming around of course also makes a little bit hungry which is actually cool when you are with the dive monster family because Junior just found a crab where obviously Mama Monster had a bite of it. Now the typical Filipino way, no, wasn't me, wasn't me. 
Okay, wasn't you. Then I still take a bite. Mmm, yummy. No wonder that Gritter Hunter can't find them and Daisy eats them. This flying grenade came to the almost end of the dive, but when a dive ends with a turtle, it can't be a bad dive. Just on three meters of water, this beauty was hanging around us when it was time to surface and end a wonderful dive with the Dive Monster family. Hey, I couldn't see Daisy. It was a great dive. See you in the next video. Bye.